Jay, just maybe uh, start with how you liked your team's response coming off that loss against one. Hey, Tony, before I start, I want to uh, just share something. Um, I just want to send condolences from uh, the Edmonton Oilers players and coaches. The Edmonton Oilers players and coaches. Um, our organization as a whole, the city of Edmonton, to the family of firefighter Jason Arno here in, in Buffalo, who perished a few days ago. Um, you know, uh, it, it's never good to see a young person uh, perish in that manner, but he did it bravely. And, um, you know, I have a firefighter in my family and um, know how valued they are to the community. So I just wanted to pass along condolences. Sorry, your next question. Thank you. Yeah. So less important things, uh, maybe the victory tonight. Uh, how you liked your team's overall response tonight? Yeah, I thought it was a good hockey game. Um, you know, that's a, first of all, I'd compliment Buffalo on a game well played. I think they have uh, the makings of a really good hockey team, a lot of skill. They play with pace. They did a lot of good things tonight. I thought it was a uh, very competitive hockey game, the type of game we want to play. Um, and in the end, we gave up two goals against. And I think if you look at the way we played last week, when we gave up three or less, um, we had a really good chance to win the game. When we got into a track meet, it didn't didn't go our way. Um, you know, I go back. I keep using Christmas time as a benchmark for me, but, and just by my rough arithmetic, we're 17, three and two when we give up three goals or less. So to me, that makes sense and is a template for us going forward. Um, you know, we're playing competitive teams here down the stretch. That team is desperate and trying to gain points. They played a heck of a game. Our team played hard and played a heck of a game. And in the end, um, I'm glad we're walking out of this building with two points. It wasn't a 3-2 game that lacked scoring chances, though. There was mm -hmm. a ton at both yeah. ends. Yeah. Uh, you certainly got goaltending tonight to keep it to two. Is that fair? Yeah, I thought Stewart uh, played a very good game for us. He gave us a chance to win the game. Um, it, you know, you got to give credit to the other team, too. They have a lot of skill there. Um, you know, uh, they're going to get their looks. And when, when you get your looks, you want got to make sure that your goaltender is uh, your goaltender is there for you. And Stewart was there for us tonight. And, um, you know, he gave us a chance to win. We had a couple goals called back on offsides, uh, including the, uh, the empty netter. Um, but in the end, uh, our team dug in and found a way. What was your view of Mount Everest today? Uh, pretty good. What was your view? Actually, maybe I should ask you the question because I get to see it every day. And, um, you know, I saw someone that was competitive right from the drop of the puck, played the, in every situation. Um, they have a lot of young skill on that, that team. Connor's at a different evolutionary stage in his, his game right now, and I think everyone saw that here tonight. How important was it? I mean, they, they, they tie the game at two, and, and Connor scores a go-ahead goal two minutes later. I mean, how big of it? Is it something that you almost expect from Connor or you guys to do? Well... We talk a lot about momentum shifts, and that's an area as a team we want to get better at. Um, I would say this, uh, you're going to Connor, and that's the finish. I saw a lot of really good plays that led up to that goal. First off, Connor defensively in the neutral zone was above his check, forced them to dump it in. Matias at home made a heck of a play in order to advance the puck, and then what I saw Warren Fogel do, I was uh, beyond impressed with. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good plays that led to that finish, and the finish was all world.